the rhythm of violin and disco music will take us higher. Oh, glory, oh, disco. Oh, the true Alphard Omega. Oh, glory, oh, glory. Woo! Hope you guys doing fine. I hope you're just going. I'll be doing fine. I hope you're just going. This is a presentation <clears throat> using just the equity put to call by its price action and by its moving averages. I'm really, I really don't want to be that guy. And I am not that guy. I promise you. If things change, I'll be the first person to change with the, with those changes. But I'm watching. I'm looking at technical uh, changes, as I stated. In the previous video and also technical changes in the behaviors of the market participants please before i start like if you like even if you don't like like i said i'll tap dance don't don't make me tap dance for yes anyway uh, so uh, there are a lot of changes in the market a lot of changes technically and also psychologically which is technical is behavioral finance which is psychological but i'm i'm full of it i just want to talk i'm sorry anyway so this is the equity put to call. And what happened uh, this week, we have the highest reading of the uh, equity put to call at 0.82. It is the highest since 2020, which means last time it was that high before the start of 21, 2021. All right. So this is the highest since the correction late 2020. Is this different? Absolutely. People are changing their behaviors. People are truly, truly uh, afraid. And it's showing in the actual option market. People pay money to hedge. It's definitely not a good indicator. And also the RSI reading is at 54. It's not the highest, but it's still, I'm sorry, 64. It's not the highest. But it's, it's sounding the alarm right now. So is it okay to be bullish now? Definitely not. The chart is telling you you could buy, you can nimble, but it's going to, you're going to have a tradable bounce, but there's no, nobody knows what's going to happen in the market. Uh, like you're catching a fallen knife. Uh, so even 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 if you think about fundamental analysis, uh, the the market discounts the future, so the market is pricing in uh, four uh, rate hikes this year, and pricing in more QTs, uh, and that would affect the money supply, and uh, as a result of that, will affect the PEs. So uh, the fundamental analysis uh, is saying be cautious and also technical analysis via charts a lot of stuff so so 82 uh, in the price action which is which is really high the highest for the whole year and see it is it's higher than that scare uh, during the election uh, it only equals oh my god the last time it was that high was during the, the COVID-19 uh, uh, sell-off or meltdown, even though uh, in April the market bounced, but still people were fearful. So definitely, definitely uh, big change, big change, big change. A 28% in a week, see in a month what would happen. Almost 50%. This is a shift. Of, of sentiments oh god it does not happen that often you can see that it's a big shift in sentiment so do you respect it yes uh, can the market bounce and and go up yes would i uh, react uh, according to the new uh, the, the new changes absolutely i'm a trader i am not i don't like thesis i will say i am wrong for i don't have nine to five this is my livelihood i can't afford to be stubborn okay so we talked about the price action all right so let's talk about the uh the moving averages this is only the 50-day moving average for the equity put to call 
And you can see even the moving averages, uh, like this is the 50, which means it's slower and more reliable. 50 day moving average for the equity put to call. It's slower and more reliable. They form also patterns, which is based on behaviors. So you have left shoulder, head complex, right shoulder, and a breakout. I'm not, I'm not a deflationist. I just trade what I see. Okay, I'm not a guy that says the sky's falling. Okay, I own stocks this 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 week. By the way, I sold them all in my own portfolio. So, okay, so is this a major event? Yeah, definitely. So, what happens usually when you break down or break out? So, you broke out here in May uh, twenty nineteen. You broke down in December. And you had a measured move, okay? Then you had that sudden move here till you hit April or May 2020. And also you broke down and you had a measured move, okay? It's definitely, definitely, uh, it's like patterns because it's based on sentiment behaviors. So conclusion for this chart right here, if they move an average for the equity put to call and we broke out of, head and shoulder or inverse head and shoulder okay let me talk to you about this first okay and this is my discovery and i gave it to the world some times ago and please if you want to use just call the disco signal please i don't want money from you i just want to i just want the whole world to love disco <clears throat> okay this is the 20 and 50 day moving average for the equity protocol. I uh, made the price to action invisible and I just looked at the bearish crossover and a bullish crossover for those, those two moving averages. So if you have a bullish crossover, that's bearish for the equity market and it is absolutely amazing. I will give it a success rate of 90 to 92 to 95 percent of the time. So if I see this bullish crossover, I get really worried and and vice versa it always gives us a, a beautiful rally when it has bearish crossover so the bear the bullish crossover took place in december at third 2021 and, and and it gave us it sounded the alarm before the sell-off before before okay it's amazing it's amazing how how reliable it is and you could see you could see when I did that too before before okay so this is my biblios this is my book this is where i get off <laughs> okay so i talked about 50 day moving average i talked about the daily time frame for the 20 and 50 day moving average for the equity protocol let me talk about the weekly time frame even the weekly time frame for the 20 period moving average god have mercy i'm gonna i'm gonna take it easy i'm gonna ask you guys to pause and look and you can see how reliable they are i used to have two followers in twitter now i have none uh, and this is, uh, you could see how reliable they are i posted this in twitter and linkedin before I'm still in the deck. I really thought social media will, you know, make me see the world, but it is not waking. It's okay. I'm not crying. Okay. So this thing, thing predicted. Let's talk about the recent event for the weekly disco signal, which is the 20 and 50 period moving average in the weekly time frame. And this bearish crossover gave us a beautiful, beautiful uh, rally started in July uh, 2020. It's when that, uh, at the time when you crossed over the 200 day moving average in the Dow. I like the maples. And it gave us a beautiful rally. And, and the bullish crossover took place during the Delta. Just before the Delta. And the market stayed in turmoil until today so if you sold off 
your, your NASDAQ, if you're in the Delta, you're going to be okay by now. Most likely, not, not like the one that made new highs. So, in the weekly time frame, it is still going. So, what am I bearish? Yes. Uh, do I think uh, the market could, could bounce and, and, and make new highs? Yes. Would I uh, react to that? Absolutely. Am I a deflationist? Never. I trade what I see. Okay? So, in conclusion, the put to call, the equity put to call, moving averages and the price action told us, told the world that there's something different this time. Please like if you like, share, and, and do, uh, and please, please make, make, make Disco great again. Please, please, or please unlike if you like, and share, subscribe, I love life, I love Disco, I love each other, and Disco's forever!